Gender dimensions of agriculture and food security are predominated by the key roles played by women in agriculture production, food processing and marketing. In developing nations, women comprise around 50% of the agricultural workforce and 70% in least developed countries. Their roles vary considerably between and within regions and are changing rapidly across the world where economic and social forces are reshaping the agricultural sector. The book on engendering agricultural development, dimensions and strategies aims to shed light on this post-liberalization surge of women in the agriculture and allied sectors as well as its impact on agriculture development in countries like India. This book comprehended and compiled the history, present status and future trends of gender roles in agriculture. It is a compendium of writing by leading scholars in gender-related studies across the country and abroad. The content card in 23 chapters are arranged under three major sections which is gender in agriculture development, gender in allied sectors of agriculture and tools and approaches in gender analysis. It offers a thorough engagement of readers with both conceptualized and operationalized concepts of gender in agricultural development with supporting evidences from literature and primary research. It provides insights on the gender dimensions in Indian agriculture, including initiatives, policy reforms, and menstrual literature gap in gender roles in the sector. The gender roles and impacts from different cultural and geographical horizons of Indian agricultural and allied sectors in the emerging contexts of globalization, urbanization, climate change, and the COVID-19 pandemic is gathered in the book. Food security, nutrition, ownership rights on land and other resources are also discussed along with the tools and strategies for gender analysis and gender vulnerability measurement. We are hopeful that this book will be successful in providing better insights into scientific approach towards gender studies and agricultural development.